What is going on guys? Great video. Today I'll talk about the public test server and why there's not one on console and probably not going to be one. There may be a few kind of, uh, you know, exceptions to this in the future, but I'll kind of talk about that here in just a second. Before I get into all the details, be sure if you're not subscribed to the channel to hit the subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate a like and check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky, the website along with the discount code you can use to check out is linked in the description as well. A lot of people want to know why there's not a test server on console, considering all the issues console has had over the last few updates. That the that this problems and the bugs and the issues are going to take almost five to six weeks to get fixed because we're having to wait until Blackwood is released before they are fixed. And the simple answer, and there's a lot more that goes into this, but one of the biggest reasons why there's not test servers on console, really for any game, but just a few, and there's are there are a few exceptions to this. There are test servers for a handful of games out there, but the main reason is because it takes a while for the update, the patch, whatever you like to call it, to get certified. So whenever, let's use it for example, let's say if Zoss had a update they wanted to put out in a couple weeks, like the Blackwood uh, chapter, they have to go in and send, once that update is ready on their end, they have to send it to Microsoft, send it to Sony, and it has to get certified on their end before it can be released. When it comes to play, uh, like uh, PlayStation and Xbox, that is a, a can be a long process. Uh, when it comes to PC, you don't have to worry about that. So if you're on the test server and Zoss decided today they wanted to fix something, they can implement that very quickly. They can have that in by the end of the day. They can have that in by the next day, whatever the case may be. And they don't have to go in and get it verification or certification from anyone. So that is one reason why that is not on console. Because considering if you had a test server on console, by the time, you know, the first few weeks of changes on PC were done, uh, or, you know, the first few changes on PC were done, it would take a couple weeks to get that over on console considering all the certification uh, kind of details. So it's probably never going to come to console. The only thing I can see right now changing would be uh, now that Microsoft has purchased Bethesda, Xbox might some at some point see a test server. I think about one game that I played in you know a lot over the years, and that is Battlefield. And around the time Battlefield 4 came out, a few years after the game had been out, they decided to go in and put a test server on the Xbox side. I'm not sure if that was something to do with the, you know, the deal that uh, Battlefield and Microsoft had at the time. You know, that was kind of a thing where you could get the EA Play and you could get to play Battlefield early when it was released and all that kind of stuff. So I'm not sure if it had something to do with that. But they did work something out with DICE and they had a test server on console. It was kind of okay it was kind of a problem at the same time it wasn't quite as good as the one of course on pc there were some issues but you were able to go in and test things and there were always talks of bringing it to all the platforms you know like or all the consoles at least so those would come over to playstation as well it never really happened or never really worked out like they wanted it to but i could see something like that maybe going on with the with eso the now that bethesda is owned uh, by microsoft Will it be in the next year or so? I don't expect it. Uh, it would be really great. I mean, let's all be honest. It would be fabulous if we all could have this, uh, you know, a test server for us to play here on console, for us to test out these issues, test out these bugs. So things like what's going on now won't happen again. You know, we won't have the problem where you can't get into your crafting bag. You can't sell things in the, uh, you know, guild trader and things easily. You can still do it, but it's just not easy to do. Um, so yeah, like I said, it would be a, a wonderful, wonderful thing to have that option to have a test server but i just don't see it happening especially now on console maybe like i said with the exception of xbox in the future but i don't really see it happening on playstation anytime soon either or if ever um, just because of that certification there's other things that go into it but a lot of that like i said is certification whatever let's take for example whatever's going on, on the test server today on on pc and they decided to change something if we had a test server on console it would be weeks before we probably would ever get those changes by that time, the update would already be out, so it's kind of pointless. Leave me a comment, guys. Would you like to see something work out where we could get some type of test server? Do you think these game companies should look into uh, finding ways to do something uh, for test servers on console? Like I said, leave me a comment with your thoughts, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.